So I have been, as a hobby, gardening lately. I enjoy watching plants grow. We're still learning how to do it. And, you know, you have to, to accommodate the needs of each individual plant. Some like shade, some like sun, some bloom for a shorter period of time, some longer. I know that if I don't deadhead all of my roses, they won't re-bloom, but that little bit of attention, and they will. There are a lot of similarities in the care and attention that you give to a garden and tending to each individual plant's needs. It's much what a teacher does. Same thing in teaching and education. You have to approach each one individually. He is very passionate about teaching. He loves students. He really likes to see students reach their potential. The students talk a lot about how he cares about them and that they always feel safe to ask questions and that he is willing and patient to work with them. He influenced me to care about the people around me and to love them for who they are and serve them in any way possible. I have lots of guiding principles as a teacher. Sometimes I feel like Gibbs from NCIS. You know, he has rules. <laughs> rule number one is this and rule number two. So even when, as, when I was a superintendent, I could start a phrase to my principles. They could finish it because they knew my rule. My rule is we teach each student one by one. The times I've watched him teach, I come away impressed. He has a very gentle uh, manner about him, but don't let that fool you. Inside is this very passionate person with a very keen intellect, and he's there to help you be better. I expect each child to achieve the highest levels of standard. And so I work with each child, and each child needs individual attention, individual ways to move forward. We would ask Brian uh, a lot of times about what's it like being a brand new principal to school. And he um, shared the idea that um, just as bees, when they get a new queen, if she doesn't have the smell of the hive on her, they will sting her to death. So when you come in as a new principal, you gotta have that smell of the hive on you, or sometimes your faculty and staff might sting you to death. <laughs> He is a lifelong learner and always wants to improve his practice. He's watched my teaching and teachings of uh, how other faculty members have taught, and he's always learning. He's looking for new ways, better ways to be a more effective teacher. I think of that King and I lyric that says, if you are a teacher by your students, you'll be taught. Mm. I have lots of students. Gosh, I didn't know I was gonna be so emotional, but when I think back on, uh, a lot of really great students who have influenced my life who continue to do that. I think he provides a wealth of knowledge and experience that some professors at BYU don't have just because he did go from being a, a teacher to a principal to a superintendent within a district. I have not a clue why I'm receiving this award because this K School of Education is filled with amazing teachers. Uh, I've heard them. I stand in the outside the door and listen and learn from them. I, I follow them as they're teaching. So even if I'm embarrassed, I am also very honored to receive this award.